Hello, Stella. So Stella is in heat right now. Um, I've known Stella for about nine months and I've been keeping an eye out for the signs because um, I do need to get her spayed and I actually made a phone call today um, for a local vet who specializes in cats and I talked to them um, about getting her spayed. Little did I know that I would come home and see uh, symptoms of her being in heat. Um, so I wanted to kind of share those with you. Um, one of the symptoms is rolling around on the floor like this. Um, Stella normally does that, but not nearly as often um, as she's been doing today. And she's been super, super um, friendly and affectionate since um, I got home today. Like she wants me just to pet her and pet her and pet her. Um, right now she's swatting at me, which is weird because um, before she wasn't. Um, so maybe she's getting herself a little agitated. Now, the other symptom and the most noticeable symptom um, was getting into kind of the position of like a cat that's in heat. Um, if I can show you that, um, I will. Usually by petting her and rubbing her back, we should be able to make that happen. So um, when I first noticed it, um, I didn't think it was um, going to be a big deal, but then I had the two, two male cats here, so I let them outside. Those kittens are about, uh, I don't know, nine or 10 months old now. Um, so like right now, Stella would normally never do this. Like she would never do this, but see, like right now, like this is a cat in heat. She's not yowling, but see that pose? Her tail's to the side, her butt's in the air, and she's not now, and she's not yowling or meowing, but this is a cat that's in heat right there. So if you've never had a cat before, or if you've never had an unspayed cat before, this is what cats do when they go into heat. I don't know how long this is gonna last. This is the first time I've ever noticed this in Stella, ever, and it's been like, again, nine or 10 months, and a lot of that time she was um, nursing her kittens. So as soon as I saw this, um, I made the kittens go outside. They're both males. And uh, now Stella is inside. Um, and as soon as this heat passes, I'm going to uh, call the vet again and make an appointment to get her spayed. Uh, they say usually it only takes a day or two to get an appointment. Um, and everything that I've been reading says um, it's better to get them spayed when they're not in heat because there's a bigger risk of loss of blood. Um, and stuff like that when they're in heat. So I don't know how long this is gonna last. It's gonna be really interesting to see. Um, hopefully things won't get a whole lot worse. Today is the first day uh, that Stella has been dealing with this. Again, I've been looking for the signs, have not seen anything, and today they're just like, I mean, it's really evident. So that's where it's at right now. And this is what a cat in heat looks like. If it gets worse, I'll film it for you guys.